Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. We are joining you in the middle of our NXT programming this evening. We've had some technical difficulties that kind of brought us to this point, but we are joining right in time for the third match of the night between our brand new NXT champion, Jimmy Uso, and his rival, Grandmaster Sexay. They're getting ready to square off here in the center of the ring. The ref signals for the bell to be wrong, and Sexay goes for a clothesline and misses and knocks the ref out. This is a falls count anywhere match, and the ref is down to start things off. Now, going into some detail about our little spat of technical difficulties, uh, one of our cameramen slash my father tripped over my PVR <laughs> while recording these uh, this episode of NXT and uh, a few of the matches and their associated files corrupted. We missed our first, second, and main event match of the evening for the first match. I'm having trouble remembering who was even in the first match. Uh, I can tell you that the second match was most definitely the Great Khali versus Mark Henry. The Great Khali had Epico, the former NXT champion, in his corner as his manager. Didn't really do anything too effective, though. The match was down to the two big giants. Um, they have fought a lot. Stephanie McMahon likes to put the big guys... Oh, oh, big move there. Knocks everybody off the apron there to the outside. Um, Stephanie McMahon tends to like to put the big guys on her roster in matches together for the fan entertainment value. This match was no different, and it was great. They, they put on a fantastic match, and really it only ended when Mark Henry was able to put the Great Khali through the announcer's table. That was just before this match. We hastily put it back together, and it wasn't any kind of DDT or power move or anything. Mark Henry literally just put both of his hands on Khali's chest and pushed him through the table. Impressive strength. Oh, and here we have a vertical suplex. Oh, and it's through the table again! Sexay is down through the table. We're going to need stronger duct tape next time. Ladies and gentlemen, and Jimmy Uso, the new NXT champion, is in control here. I can also tell you, jumping ahead in time, since I can do that, that our main event was scheduled between Gangrel and his new rival, Via Viaquez, the uh, newest luchador in the WWE Universe here. He's shot up the rankings here in NXT, trying to eventually get up to WWE and take on the likes of Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara in a battle for supremacy of the masks. Uh, Gangrel has forged a kind of rivalry with Via Viaquez. Uh, Gangrel very recently not the internet champion anymore. As of last Saturday, he lost the title to his rival, the Godfather. And now Via Viaquez took him on in a match that Gangrel only won by countout against the uh, shifty little future superstar. And Uso back up top again, misses a horrifying diving headbutt, landing outside on the floor of the arena. Not what he was hoping for there, that is for certain. And this is, as I mentioned, a false count anywhere match. There are no disqualifications, weapons are allowed. Pin submissions anywhere outside of the ring. As Jimmy Uso, the new NXT champion, pulls a ladder out from under the ring. Now, since this is our first spat of NXT action since... The pre-pay-per-view show last Saturday, the day before Night of Champions. We might as well go over what brought Jimmy Uso here. Jimmy Uso being the first ever double champion in NXT now. He and his brother Jay have been the NXT Tag Team Champions for several months. There is a very well-timed enziguri from Mr. Grandmaster Sexy. Actually, the Usos have feuded with Too Cool before, which is what set this match up. It has nothing to do with Jimmy Uso's new NXT championship. This is all about the tag team belt he has and the rivalry he's forged against the members of Too Cool. And he misses another horrifying diving headbutt from the top of a ladder. Jimmy Uso is putting it all on the line in this overall meaningless match, but I guess he's trying to prove to the world that he can hold his own as the NXT champion. Wait, there's the huge Samoan drop! The Uso Samoan drop. We've got a pinfall outside of the ring on top of the broken table. There's two. There's three. Jimmy Uso wins, and he does show the world that he should be NXT champion. He should be NXT champion, and many people think maybe he shouldn't. He was a late entry into the title match at the pre-pay-per-view show on Saturday, turning it into a triple threat match, and he was easily the underdog, having not been anywhere near a contender for the NXT championship beforehand. But he came away with the belt, and this is his first match as champion. Not a title defense, but definitely sending a message regardless.
And as the NXT champion celebrates in the ring for his adoring masses, we're getting ready for our fourth match of the evening. It will be a one-fall match between the very recently former NXT champion Drew McIntyre, who lost the belt to Jimmy Uso last Saturday, and Chainsaw Charlie, the old man on the roster who has been on a tear recently. Now, a bit of programming news here from our WWE Universe. With our new partnership on YouTube, we are finding that some of our talents entrance videos are too high definition for the the common man's computer system so we have opted to forego showing them anymore in the hopes of not destroying everyone's computer in america we will no longer show entrance videos indefinitely here on our wwe youtube programming that is just a psa from wwe and the heads of youtube and here we are fast forwarding right into our next match between drew mcintyre and chainsaw charlie the ref signals for the bell, and this looks pretty familiar. McIntyre goes for a clothesline and hits the ref instead. Will anyone take advantage of it here? And McIntyre goes right after Charlie. Now, McIntyre, we know his story. He was the NXT champion as of last Saturday, and he lost the belt. He was supposed to have a one-on-one -on -one match against his number one contender, Damian Sandow. It was going to be the NXT match of the year. And because Drew McIntyre has become such a hated person for his general manager, Stephanie McMahon, for his kind of annoying tendencies to whine when he's not getting his way, even though he's been the NXT champion for roughly eight months, she decided to throw Jimmy Uso into the match, and Jimmy Uso stole the win when it looked like it was McIntyre's turn to retain, and there is a big DDT from Chainsaw Charlie, and now Chainsaw Charlie here is the other end of this match, and at any other point in his career, he would easily just be the jobber thrown in here in a gimme, gimme match to try to show the world that Drew McIntyre... Oh, there was a huge power slam from McIntyre. Sorry for the interruption there. Got to call the match here. Um, he would just be another person to prove that Drew McIntyre could still be the NXT champion again. But Chainsaw Charlie is no pushover. Over the past several months, he has taken it upon himself to show the world that he can hang with the biggest stars in the WWE Universe today as he drops a huge double double axe handle right onto McIntyre's forehead. Chainsaw Charlie has made it his job in NXT to take on the biggest men on the roster repeatedly, and I'm talking Vader, Kali, Mark Henry. Not only has he taken them on, but he has beaten every single one of them pretty handily when he's had to. So here, this is Chainsaw Charlie's first singles match against a real title-worthy opponent, not just someone who is larger than he is. And he was able to win these matches against his larger competition by proving that he had more resilience than anybody else in this federation. That they could inflict all the pain they wanted to on him, but he would still get right back up and drain their own endurance out. And that is what he does. So here, he's looking to score a win against Drew McIntyre to show the world that he... Oh, but there's a huge reversal! He was going for the powerbomb on McIntyre. McIntyre turns it into a momentum-assisted DDT and takes control in the match here. And there it is, he's setting up a future shock DDT. There it is, he kicks back! And Chainsaw Charlie headfirst into the mat. That one's definitely gonna hurt. But Charlie is looking to put a win over on McIntyre here to show the world that he can hang with the guys that typically wear gold around their waist, and that's barely even a one count before Charlie kicks out. McIntyre, of course, needs the victory here to keep himself on pace. Oh, there's a sleeper hold from Chainsaw Charlie. Hit it on the groggy McIntyre, but his arm brushes the rope and the rep forces it up. Charlie runs at McIntyre, and he throws him with another power slam. Charlie seems to be trying to show off his speed, but that's not typically an asset associated with a senior citizen in the wrestling ring. He'd be advised to stop running at Drew McIntyre. But McIntyre needs this victory to prove to the world that his loss of his NXT championship at the pre-Night of Champions show here. Oh, there's another big power slam as Charlie will not stop running. That the loss was a fluke and that he will win it back from Jimmy Uso the first chance he gets. So McIntyre needs to rebuild his momentum starting here against Charlie. And you know he thinks it's going to be a short match, but Charlie is definitely going to prove otherwise. McIntyre trying to wrench on the arm, and Charlie's not a guy that's going to tap out anytime soon. But McIntyre is continuing to work that arm. And McIntyre, some punches to the face there. And the announce team here just remembered, <laughs> just remembered, that our first match of the evening was a match between the new internet champion, The Godfather, and Jey Uso, the other half of the NXT Tag Team Champions. We've got a surfboard stretch here from Chainsaw Charlie, but McIntyre works his way out of it, slapping him away. 
And the Godfather did win, showing that he should be the new Internet Champion. And we're coming up on Survivor Series, which is the next time the Internet Champion will have a chance to go up and fight a match against a WWE opponent at a pay-per-view in the hopes of becoming a new roster member. So if the Godfather can continue to hold the gold for just two more months, he'll find himself at that pay-per-view with a chance to get back to WWE for the first time since 2000. Very, very long time. And Charlie here just will not stay down. There's a big running DDT sending Drew face first into the mat. But Drew gets up and rakes the eyes of Charlie through the pantyhose. And Drew is trying to take control in this match. We just saw Jimmy Uso win convincingly in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Drew does not want to show a loss right after that. But Chainsaw up top. Big flying headbutt straight into the derriere of Drew McIntyre. And it looks like Chainsaw Charlie has hurt himself on that perfectly sculpted buttocks. May have broken his jaw through the pantyhose there. And both men are up there trading punches. Chainsaw Charlie's working the head, but Drew McIntyre reverses out and throws him into the ropes. We've got a collar and elbow tie-up now. They are vying for power. Charlie's got them by the head, and he's got a big classic scoop slam. Old school maneuver there. McIntyre again raking the eyes. And there's a huge running clothesline that Chainsaw reverses into a drop toe hold into the ropes. And he's going for punches. McIntyre twists the arm around. Chainsaw twisting around himself. We've got a little bit of chain wrestling here between these two. Seems they've been scouting each other out a little bit. McIntyre in control sends Charlie into the turnbuckle. Charlie reverses with a knee and throws Drew into the turnbuckle. And Charlie goes in for the attack and Drew kicks him in the chest and into a big clothesline. They're down in the center of the ring together. Dropping a knee on Chainsaw Charlie is Drew, and there's a big drop kick sending him back across the ring. Drew seems to have that offense going that had him with that NXT title around his waist for the better part of the last year. He won it from Epico months and months and months ago, and then he defended it against all comers. But now he finds himself without the gold, without any hope of moving up to WWE anytime soon. He needs to win it back, and he needs to win here to keep himself in line to do so, because otherwise, Damian Sandow becomes the clear de facto number one contender for the title. And Sandow, it should be noted, does not have a match this evening. He cannot help himself, but he also cannot hurt himself. And McIntyre with another little double underhook twist, and he throws Chainsaw Charlie to the side, landing him right on the back of his head, and he's slamming that head into the mat now. McIntyre focusing in on that one body part. And McIntyre, oh, here comes another future shock DDT. There's the kick, and there it is. This is going to be it. Nobody gets out of two of these. Nobody. It's what made him the champion for so long. We've got two, and Charlie kicks out. Chainsaw Charlie kicks out of the second future shock DDT. He gets right up and goes back at it. This is the resilience we're talking about. This is why nobody can beat Chainsaw Charlie in NXT. You can hit him as many times as you want, but he's always going to get up. He can hit you as many times as you can take, but there's always going to be that one time where you cannot get up. Here's another pin fall and it's just over a one count and Charlie kicks out he's in this match he runs at him with a knee knocking Drew down stopping him while he's on the ground and he runs oh here we go we've got the Texas jabs we've got the Texas jabs in effect right here the punches to the face McIntyre is staggered he's down on the mat Charlie fist in the air McIntyre struggling to get to his feet Charlie spins him around, and this is it. This is going to be the Texas pile driver. He's got him up, legs in the air, and he slowly sits back. There it is, all impact on the crown of the head. McIntyre is down in the center of the ring. We've got blood coming out of a cut on his forehead. Chainsaw rolls him over. We've got a pinfall. One, two, and three. Chainsaw Charlie does it. He beats the former NXT champion. Drew McIntyre has lost in his first match after losing his title. His stock is lower than it's been in months, and Chainsaw Charlie, he's on the rise. Forget about Damian Sandow. We may have a new number one contender for the belt in the very near future, and it could be Terry Funk, Chainsaw Charlie, the old man of the WWE Universe. Now, as I mentioned, we lost 60% of our matches this evening to technical, uh, to technical difficulties. But if you enjoyed what you have seen, stay tuned for AWA. That will be up tomorrow. We will have some interesting, exciting matches there. We'll see the entire colony in action, as well as all the fun intrigues surrounding Kevin Steen and Seth Rollins losing both of their championships at the pre-pay-per-view last Saturday. Until then, though... We're going to send you off with Chainsaw Charlie in the ring, celebrating a huge victory over Drew McIntyre. You all enjoy the rest of your day. So long.
Thank you.